some of the smaller ones, uh, Jen Mardock took, was asked by Ms. Hayes to take care of her dogs fairly frequently over at Mahonia Hall. Uh, the frequent flyer miles and credit card rewards, there is no written policy that allows a volunteer for the state of Oregon um, to accept frequent flyer miles and credit card rewards. Employees of the state of Oregon are prohibited from accepting them. Um, so that's something the commission will have to decide on. And then the DPU, this is the Dignitary Protection Unit. The Dignitary Protection, this is something the commission again will have to decide. The Dignitary Protection Unit provides protection and transportation for members of the governor's immediate family to any of their daily appointments and any traveling that they do. So the governor made the decision that Ms. Hayes would be given D Dignitary Protection Unit protection. Uh, she used it somewhat sporadically. When she was in Salem and Portland, she used it pretty frequently. When she went out to Bend, she used it less frequently. Um, and so that one, that's a question that you guys can hash out and ask me more about it if you want to. And then we have the possible conflict of interest violations. For rural development initiatives, I'll tell you what she did do um, in terms of following the rules about declaring a conflict of interest. As, just as a reminder, what she's supposed to do is uh, provide notice in writing to her appointing authority of the nature of the conflict and ask the appointing authority to dispose of the conflict. So for RDI, she started that in February of 2011. Before she started that, so in January of 2011, she emailed the program description for the West Coast Clean Economy Collaborative to Curtis Robinhold, the chief of staff in the governor's office, and asked him what he thought of it. I don't have a record of what he thought of it, um, but that was, that is something in writing that talks about what she's going to do. The Clean Economy Acceleration Fellowship, uh, there was the First Lady Protocol in September of 2011, which went around uh, with her and the governor. Uh, that's on page uh, 27 to 30 of your report, which is page 119 to 122 uh, of the book, if you want to take a closer look at that, where she and the governor and the governor's staff are kind of hashing out uh, what role she should play and whether she can, um, whether she should, the governor says she should have involvement in planning the, pol in designing the policies of the governor's office so she's not uh, saying something different when she goes out and talks under her fellowship. 